Hello, let's two together starting from Netherlands as the Prime Minister arrived on his bicycle at the polling station to cast his vote on the third and last day of voting in the Dutch legislative elections. On his bicycle, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte arrived at the polling station to cast his vote on the third and last day of voting in the Dutch legislative elections which were closed and took place under strict measures in the framework of combating the pandemic. The Dutch elections are the first of their kind in the European Union since the outbreak of COVID-19. Russian robot manufacturer opened a new department in the city of Vladivostok aimed at research and development of realistic appearance for humanoid robots. Meet Alexei. He may soon be the face of a robot, near you. Russian robot manufacturer Promobot, has opened a new department for the future development of hyper-realistic appearances for humanoid robots. Using 3D modeling. Sculptor and 3D modeler, Pyotr Chgodev, who runs the department, said he believed that progress in this fast-growing field, requires a combination of art and technology. The company's robots have been deployed to government centers in Moscow, as well as universities. Chgodev said the company has also signed new contracts in the US. Service Promobots work in 40 countries around the world as administrators, consultants, guides, and concierges, replacing or supplementing human employees, according to the company's website. New McKinsey report released about the lockdown spending, based on surveys of consumers in China, France, Germany, the UK and the US. Lockdown has seen people buy their groceries from the comfort of their own home and replace a night at the theatre with Netflix on the couch. And that's likely to continue post-pandemic, according to a new report released Thursday by McKinsey. The analysis is based on surveys of consumers in China, France, Germany, the UK and the United States. Online grocery shopping was one big winner, with its share of total grocery spend doubling in some countries over the past year, rising to around 10% in the United States. McKinsey also found that older shoppers, once hesitant to use e-grocery shopping, were forced to do so out of necessity and are likely to keep the habit after the pandemic. It's a similar story for at-home entertainment services, with more than 60% of consumers across the five countries saying they intended to maintain some subscriptions they started during lockdown. That could signal a longer-term drop in demand for cinemas and theatres. Spectacular footage of eruption on Klyushevskaya Sopka side cone volcano on the Russian Kamchatka Peninsula was caught on camera by eyewitnesses. The video shows red rivers of lava floating down a mountain and volcano bombs explosions. Despite the danger, a group of tourists came extremely close to the streams of burning lava to capture the wildlife phenomenon. The 4,750 meters volcano is the highest mountain on the Kamchatka Peninsula and the highest active volcano in Eurasia. Russian scientists are trying to understand the scale of a potential threat to the environment in Siberia, snow polluted with microplastics that then melts and seeps into the ground. Microplastics are everywhere, in our fish, rivers and lakes. And now they are even in snow. Russian scientists recently found small plastic fibers in Siberian snow and rainwater. The fibers were carried to the remote wilderness by air currents. 
Scientists are now trying to find out the extent of the pollution. By taking samples from 20 regions across 2,000 kilometers to determine if plastic is accumulating next to roads and human settlements. Some scientists are concerned that the rising levels of microplastics around the world might pose a risk to people's health. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us at Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and subscribe our YouTube channel. Ciao.